is held over the course of seven days, starting December 26th. So today we are not gonna do seven days, all seven days, but we're gonna introduce you to the principles and how um, the things that are on the table work within each evening. So first we want to talk about what is what you see here on the table. So the first thing is uh, the mat, and this is called the Mpeka. And this is uh, used to represent African tradition, symbolizing the foundation on which all else rests. So that's the mat. Then we have the Kinara. That's the candelabra that holds all of the candles that are lit throughout all of the days. And each day you will light um, an additional candle. Then um, we will have the Kikum, Kikumbe Shamaja, which is the unity cup. You can see I'm struggling with these words. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the unity cup, and the unity cup is a sim symbolizes um, how people share drinks throughout the ceremonies. And so that this is an act of passing passing a drink from one person to the other throughout the ceremony. Similar to what you will see sometimes at the communion mm -hmm. in some churches. And then we have the muza'u, which is the first fruits there. So we have a bowl of fruit there, and that's symbolic of all of the hard work and the fruits from the labor that have been uh, as they toil in the soil. And then we have the gifts. And this represents rewards for outstanding achievement implying, implying the Nubuzo Zaba throughout the year or the seven principles throughout the year. So if you have been good, just like when Santa gives you gifts, this, these are the gifts of Kwanzaa. And then we also have um, the African flag. The colors are red, black, and green. The green represents the land, the black represents the people, and the red represents the blood. So these are the artifacts that you will normally see at a Kwanzaa ceremony. So what we're going to do now is we're going to combine the seven days into one time, and we're going to talk about talk a little bit about each principle that's celebrated each day. And for each day, there is a candle that is lit. So we're going to light all the candles. So normally you will have all the candles lit on the seventh day. So on the first day, you'll just have one candle lit, and on the second day, two candles and so on. So by the time we're done, we'll have all seven candles lit, okay? All right, let's get started. <laughs> all right, so day one is gonna be this black candle in the middle, and this is really a day of togetherness. So this is a day that the family actually first comes together. And, you know, not only do they talk about the love that they have for each other and, you know, different like high points and low points of the family together through that year. They also may, you know, help to clear up problems that different people in the family may have. And basically just to come together as a unit so that, you know, the rest of the days forward can be done to reflect on different things. So we'll let it in. There we go. Day two is a day of togetherness and sharing traditions. So one of the traditions in the African American family is hair braiding. And sometimes you'll see people with cornrows. Um, at a time or two, you'll see me with cornrows. And so sometimes that is a time where um, people who don't know how to braid, they learn how to braid because that is an actual skill. It's also time to pass down recipes, family recipes, different types of family traditions. So that is what this is called for day two. And the actual name for this is the Kuji Pajalia. Kuji Kajalia. And so we're going to write, we're going to light the red candle. So day three is called Ujima. And the green candle is lit on that day. And this is a day of uh, 
togetherness for the entire family. And everyone in the family works together to get a chore done, perhaps paint a fence or, you know, just do, or, you know, something that you do together. And the common goal for that day is that everyone works together to get the job done. Ujima. Day four is a day of togetherness and sharing a family gift. It's Ujama. Um, so a gift is either made or purchased and it's something that people in the family can look back on and remember like, oh, we got this in the Kwanzaa of this year. Um, it can be anything from a house to something really small like a picture frame. Day four. Press the button. So day five, it's going to be another one of the green candles. This is Nia, and basically this is a day to share about your dreams and hopes, especially for the new year. So it's anything you want to accomplish, any new goals, anything that you may want to reach, either work-related or non, this is the day for that. Day six is called Kuwamba. And with day six, the red candle is lit. This is another day of togetherness and you're gonna share something in reference to creativity. So you may share a poem, you may teach a, a dance. I know um, in the African-American community, we like to line dance. <laughs> and uh, you know, and, but I, I do some line dances and some of them, it's just too many steps. But this is a time you can come together and teach each other something that's creative. At the end of each evening, um, you will come back in, into the group and share what you have taught each other or what you have made that day. So if I taught my family members a line dance at the end of the evening, we would have to perform it for the rest of the group. Y'all ready? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay day seven it's another green candle and it is another day of um, togetherness and it's also a feast uh, the family gathers to enjoy a huge dinner like um, ham candy yams collard greens um, thick bread macaroni and cheese and of course desserts so this is something that everyone would enjoy, and it is a wonderful feast. Again, it's Imani. Now, at the end, excuse me, at the end of each day, we end with um, a saying that everyone says, and it's a chant, and it's called Harambe. So everyone say that with me. Harambe. 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 And that means togetherness. Yeah. Also, on the last day is when the gifts that have been made are distributed. So Tracy actually has some gifts for a couple of people. <clears throat> and of course, I represent women. Nothing against the men, but... Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Absolutely. So when we come together to do to celebrate Kwanzaa on each evening, it's probably for about an hour or two. And so during each day, there's an activity after you have the opening ceremony. The opening ceremony is when you will light the candles and reflect upon that day's saying, that day's um, whatever we're celebrating for that day, that's what you, what you do, and then you break off into your activity, and then you come back, and then you all share what you did in the activity, and you end with Harambe, and this is Kwanzaa. Thanks so much for coming. And we will now 
we will now distinct extinguish the candles in the order of which they were lit. Thank you.